And welcome back to Living East Tennessee. Well, these are things we should know, but we all know we need to save money. We need to budget better, maybe have that rainy day fund, but making that happen can be a challenge. We have two authors here to help us do just that today. We have Tom Matthews and Steve Siebold, and they are the authors of How Money Works, Stop Being a Sucker. Sounds so easy, right, guys? Well, you know, it's not taught in schools, yeah. so it's not natural. But it is easy. Yeah. And so this is a chance for somebody to, to learn the basic principles and then learn how to apply them to their lives and their finances. I know. And that's what it's all about. Simple steps. You guys have walked us through several from the book. The key to changing your financial situation is learning how to solve problems, you say. That's really what entrepreneurialism is really about. That's what built America, right? Yeah. You find a need and you fill the need or you find a problem and you solve the problem and you get paid. The bigger problem you solve, the more money you make. I like that. That sounds easy in theory, but where do we begin? If someone's a, a starter out there and they're trying to solve these problems, how do we start? Well, I think we've, we've broken this down. First of all, it's not a thick book. You know, right. it's not a big textbook. So we've made it fun, but we also gave you steps. We call them milestones. And so you just follow the milestones and we, you apply those to your finances and then you have the best chance you're going to have. Yeah. Another one of those milestones you guys mentioned, changing your financial story means hanging around people who have a better financial story than you currently have, right? Oh, yeah. Einstein said it years ago, consciousness is contagious, yeah. and that includes consciousness about money. So if you hang around people with more money than you, you'll start to see and hear how they think about money and their beliefs about money, their philosophies about money, and ultimately their strategies yeah. about money, and you start to adopt those things. You may learn a thing or two. Absolutely. That's what you're telling yes. us. I like that. And overcoming your fear of losing that money. I think we all are fearful, oh, if I take this financial risk, is it going to set me back? You've got to kind of overcome that fear, you say. We also added an edge to it where you, you look at this and you decide, do I want to think like a sucker thinks or do I want to think like the wealthy think? Yeah. That's a decision you make. It's a choice. Okay. Yeah. An everyday choice. And I understand you had a lot of college debt coming out of college. You yes. Didn't have in a lot college, of money I, to your yeah. name. Yeah. I mean, all the time. Well, See, like, yeah. we, we all have that yeah. story, right? Yeah. But yeah. you figured out a way to make the best of that. I started interviewing self-made millionaires in 1984. Right. And they taught me, just like we were talking about thinking, they taught me the way to think about money and the way to view money and the beliefs about money. And all of a sudden, you change those things and you start moving toward it as opposed to moving away from it through fear and scarcity. Yeah. All good things and now you're financially free, yes. so to speak. Yes. Yes. Yeah, from having to worry about And that. anyone can do it. That's that's really the purpose of the book, that anyone yeah. can take care of their, their finances if they know what to do. And that's what the that. book explains. Yeah, simple strategies we can all use. Yes. Tell us where the best place is to go to find the book. You can go to Amazon.com. It's right there. Okay. Yeah. It's easy to do that. And again, the book is called How Money Works. Stop being a sucker. We're going to have all the details for you on. That's a great title, by the way. <laughs> we, we all get a chuckle out of that every time we say it. Hey, for more information on that book, you can head to our website at livingeasttennessee.com. Now let's send things over to Erin for this week's Mom Life. Oh my goodness.